let, but I wanted to talk about the problems and the solutions. In other words, what are the, identify the problems and the solutions. Okay. We cannot ignore today's events, today when you put out your, your truth yeah. social post. And by that, I want to talk about what is clearly now and what the Judiciary Committee under Jim Jordan is looking into, whether or not our FBI and our Department of Justice have been weaponized and politicized. And I have two headlines here. You know, FBI tipped off Biden team, Secret Service, about plan to interview Hunter, according to a supervisory agent who retired. Tomorrow, there will be another IRS whistleblower, just like this man, Mr. Chapley, who came out and said, no, he should have been indicted on felony charges, and I've been doing this, meaning Hunter Biden. Then I can take you back, and you know that I covered this every single night, and my show was vindicated on the issue right. of Trump-Russia collusion that never occurred. The Durham report corroborated it, the Horowitz report. It's a long way of me asking this very simple, basic question. And that is, if you look at Hillary Clinton and the way she was treated, no prosecutor would prosecute, 33,000 subpoenaed emails deleted, devices destroyed. Then her dirty dossier. And that dossier was used to get four FISA warrants. And then you look at the FBI in 2019. They had Hunter Biden's laptop in December of 2019. They verified it in March of 2020. And yet FBI agents in the months leading up to that election were meeting with big tech companies, telling them, according to Yoel Roth, the former Twitter integrity site head, telling them that it might be about Joe or Hunter. That laptop story got censored. The American people were denied the truth about what would be a bombshell story. And by the way, it still is censored because they haven't really gotten into the meat with all of the great reporting done, and this has been some great reporting done. Generally speaking, the press is fake. It's fake, and it's just uh, horrible, actually. But there's still been some great reporters and great reporting done, and you are at the lead. You've been incredible. But when you look... But, Sean, when you look at... That they haven't even gotten to the bottom of the laptop. They don't want to put the pictures in. They don't want to. They have pictures in there that anybody else, they go away for 10 years. What happened to Hunter is he got a traffic ticket. Other people are being sentenced to many years in jail for doing much less. He got a traffic ticket. The only good thing is the people know it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Now, uh, Jim Jordan and Jamie Comer, these guys are doing a great job, but. The problem is you find out the crime, but nothing happens with it. Instead, they go after you. Like, for example, Hillary Clinton's home wasn't raided. Yeah. Joe Biden's garage wasn't raided. The UPenn Center wasn't raided. The University of Delaware wasn't raided. His home, beach home, I don't know how he affords a beach home on a senator's salary, that wasn't raided. Hunter Biden has, is being protected, obviously. Um, cocaine in the White House, 10-day investigation, they... they they literally interview nobody. Okay, investigation's over. Would that have happened in your White House? Well, well, listen to this. Even you mentioned the beach home. Well, the beach home had all these documents in it, right? It was by the Corvette. They're on the floor. Classified documents. No, that's not the place. beach home. That, the beach home was another place. No, they no. Found. This is also the beach home, and they had the Corvette where they had the Corvette, yeah. and a tremendous amount of payment was made for that home by somebody to Joe Biden. And it was a big story for about one day, and then you don't hear about it anymore. It's incredible. But when you look at the documents all over the place, whatever happened to that one? They go after me on documents, and I have the Presidential Records Act, which is a big deal. And the Presidential Records Act is a... is, is an act... <laughs> Thank you. They Why know weren't the, their they homes raided? They know better rated. than anybody else. Why weren't their homes raided? Well, let me just tell you, I'm protected by Presidential Records Act, and they come up with this obscure, crazy theory, a madman theory. This guy is a deranged prosecutor who's had tremendous failures all over the place. He's a nasty, horrible human being. They come after me. Now, they have... Biden has many, many thousands... I mean, he's got 2,000, almost 2,000 boxes of documents. They can't get to him because the college or whatever that has him doesn't want to give him. But, and he probably told the college, but more importantly, China gives millions of dollars to UPenn. That's where he has some. He's got them all over the place. And maybe worst of all, he's got documents in Chinatown. In Chinatown. Many, many documents, boxes of documents. You don't ever hear about this. All you hear about is Trump. And I'm totally covered. 
by the Presidential Records Act and also by the Clinton socks case. You know what that is. That's where Clinton took out tapes in his socks and he put them in his drawer. And they sued him just on a very civil basis. And he ended up winning the lawsuit. And the judge said he can have whatever he wants. And that's called the Presidential Records Act. What about Sandy Berger shoving yeah, documents yeah, down they, his pants? Oh, there are many instances of it. But especially when you're president, and Joe Biden wasn't president. You're only covered by the Presidential Records Act if you're president. Joe Biden wasn't president. In fact, Joe Biden was senator for many years. And they've got a lot of classified documents when he was senator. And other Democrat senators can't even believe the fact that he has these documents. Can't even. They said, I watched Dick Durbin. Here's another beauty. I watched Dick Durbin <laughs> saying, I can't believe that he took them. I couldn't, he couldn't even believe it. So it's a very, it's a two-tier system, but it's worse than that. It's a very corrupt system. OK, so my, my question to you is, when you see that Hillary had top secret classified information, and the conclusion of Jim Comey, no prosecutor would ever prosecute. 33,000 subpoenaed emails deleted, devices destroyed. OK, then we have the FBI in early October of 2016 sent agents over the pond to meet yeah. with Christopher Steele. They offered him a million dollars to, to verify any part of that to get dossier. Trump. To get Trump. OK, they couldn't verify it. Then, in late October, even though it wasn't verified, they used that, according to Andrew McCabe, deputy FBI director, without that dirty dossier, they would never have gotten those FISA warrants approved. Now, they knew that they couldn't verify it. The Dora report confirmed none of it was true. And yet, they would use that as a backdoor to spy on your campaign and your presidency. Yep. Is That's that a dual system of justice? Oh, right. And the whole thing with FISA was horrible. But you know, one thing we did that was so great, I fired Comey very early. And a lot of people said, oh, you should have done it. Well, you know, they're given a term. <laughs> they're given a term very early. Not immediately early, but very early, early in a few months. And I got rid of this guy. And by doing that, it was like you threw a rock at a hornet's nest. The whole thing collapsed. You saw the love letters back and forth with the different people talking about the insurance policy. You know what the insurance policy, that was against me. That was how to If she, for it. some reason, loses, darling, we have an insurance policy. The insurance policy is they'll get me out. One way or the other, they'll get me out. Because you know what? This is 30, 35 years of being put into government. And you get there. And initially, I didn't know people in Washington. I was there 17 times in my entire life. I never stayed over, never stayed over before this. All of a sudden, I'm president of the United States. I relate, and we had tremendous people also. Don't forget, biggest tax cuts in history, biggest regulation cuts in history, rebuilt our military, <laughs> took out ISIS, took out Soleimani, took out al-Baghdadi, the, the two biggest terrorists in the world. I mean, what we did was incredible. Strongest border we've ever had. Everything was good. No inflation. Best economy in history. We did all of this stuff. We had tremendous, we had tremendous people. Look, they made a lot of money. Yeah. No, no, So we had tremendous people. But we also had some, you rely on others. You rely on people that you knew. You rely on other politicians to give you answers. And you find out that they are uh, rhinos or they gave you bad advice. So we had some that weren't good. But when you think, uh, Comey had a term. He had many years left in that term. I said, this guy's bad news. I realized it very early, very early in the administration. I fired him. And it was wild. That's when we found out all of the corruption. Had I not fired Comey, you wouldn't know any of the things that you were talking you about. You think right they would have destroyed you? Well, they were trying to take me out. Yeah, they were trying to take me out. I mean, it was like a coup. It was like a coup. Had I not, you know, it's very interesting. Big Some people that are very smart, that you know very well, said when I did it, oh, that was a mistake, that was a mistake, you're going to cause. Now they say it was the greatest instinctual move they've ever seen, because Comey was a very bad guy. And Comey led that group of uh, thugs in there. And they were doing a number. They were, it's very dishonest. It's years and years of putting in people, Democrats and rhinos and other people, but putting them into office. And we got rid of a lot of them, but we're gonna get rid of a lot more, a lot more, because you have some bad people. One more. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.